Despite the economic struggles of recent years and the numerous challenges ahead for Korea's exporters, the government made sure to acknowledge some of the positive developments and achievements on the nation's 53rd trade day on Monday. Kim min was there and filed this report. It's a day for the country's exporters. At an event hosted by the Trade Ministry and the Korea International Trade Association, 680 people were commended for their efforts to boost outbound shipments, while over 1,200 firms were given awards for hitting designated export targets. But the overall atmosphere wasn't as cheery as before, with a number of companies achieving new records sitting at the lowest since 2004. It was also the first time in 14 years that no firm was able to reach the 10 billion U.S. dollar milestone. It was a turbulent year. Global oil prices fell to their lowest level in more than 10 years. There was the unexpected outcome from the U.S. presidential election on top of Brexit. And the global economy remains weak. In fact, it's been a continual struggle for Korean exporters. Shipments abroad have been on a downward spiral since January 2015, with the exception of a brief turnaround in August and November this year. For 2016 as a whole, exports are expected to fall 5.6 percent to $497 billion. Imports, on the other hand, are projected to slide 7.4 percent to $404 billion. With that, the country's trade value was likely to fall short of the $1 trillion mark, the first time in 58 years that it has failed to reach this milestone for two straight years. Korea's export ranking is also poised to sink to eighth place from sixth. And prospects aren't all that better for next year either. Korea's key industries are losing competitiveness among the ongoing corporate restructuring push. On top of that, risk management is needed as there are expected uncertainties stemming from a possible U.S. rate hike and Brexit negotiations. Going forward, experts call on local companies to foster high-value industries by infusing technology into all sectors, and they emphasize the need for more international cooperation and modernized trade structures. Kim Min-ji, Arirang News.